Hello friends, let's zero in on another lead code problem called merge k sorted lists. In the previous video, we had seen how to merge two sorted lists and here we'll just extend on that solution and try to merge k sorted lists. It's marked as a lead code hard problem, but we'll see how to tackle it easily. So this question has again been asked a lot of times by Amazon and Facebook and quite a few times by Microsoft and Google. So it's another famous question. If you've seen my previous video, the approach we took was to traverse both the linked list node by node, compare the values of both the nodes and pick the smallest and keep on merging based on that. Here, instead of two lists, we'll have K list. So we'll have to compare all the K node values at each time and then take the smallest and keep on extending our result linked list. So this can be done in quite a few ways. One way to do this would be compare the K node values each time and then do it for each node until we reach the end of all the nodes of all the lists. So this will give us a time complexity of big O of Kn. Since to add each node, we are making k comparisons and overall we'll be adding n nodes. So the time complexity will be order of kn. We can do slightly better here by maintaining a min heap and put all these k elements there. In this case, to find the top of the min heap, we'll just need log of k time and hence our time complexity will improve to order of n log k instead of order of nk or kn. So now what we'll do is we'll add the first node from each linked list and create a min heap out of that. We'll pop out the top element and insert the next node from that linked list. And we'll keep on repeating the process until our heap is empty. And this will happen when we have traversed each and every node from all the linked lists. So let's see how can we code it. So to create a min heap, we can use a priority queue. So we can define a priority queue of list nodes and we can call it min heap. And here we can pass in the comparator. So there's a shorthand for that. You can say n1 comma n2 and the logic of sorting will be n1 dot val minus n2 dot val. So n1 is a list node and dot val gives its value and similarly we are comparing two nodes and returning the smaller one here. So this gives us min heap. Let's say we had to use a max heap we could have done a n2 dot val minus n1 dot val. It's a very useful shorthand notation so I'll suggest you to memorize it. So now once this is done we can iterate through the first nodes of all the linked lists. So we write for list node in list. We can check if the list is not null. We can simply add it to our min heap. Min heap dot add list. So now we have created a min heap and it contains the k nodes. All we'll have to do now is create our new head as we had done in the previous list questions. So we write a list node, new head, and we can assign it a dummy value. As always, we can add another node called current, and this will point to the new head and will help us iterate over the list. Now we can start iterating over the min heap. So we'll do while min heap is not empty. Here we can pull the top element from the min heap. Now that we have the node which holds the minimum value, all we need to do is set current.next to this node and update the current pointer. Also, we'll have to add the next node. So this step is analogous to our first step and this step in the merge to list. And now to do 
the step where we were updating the pointer of the original linked list what we can do here is we'll have to add this node to the min heap so to do that we can just check that if node.next is not equal to null we can add this node now to the min heap so this way we have traversed to the next node from the linked list from which we had pulled out the smallest element so again our size of heap will be k elements and once all of this is done the while loop will terminate when we have traversed all the elements okay sorry i've closed the bracket here it should end here so once our while loop is terminated now we'll have a proper merge list which will hold all the values in the sorted order so as always we'll just have to return new head dot next let's try to run it it works let's submit it great it works so before we leave we can discuss another approach by which we can solve this question so we had already written the code for merge two lists let's see how we can leverage that to write another solution using the divide and conquer approach so here let's remove all of this to solve this problem from the divide and conquer approach what we can do is form k pairs of lists and merge them individually so let's say initially we have three lists so we'll merge the first two keep the third one as is in the second iteration we'll merge the result of the merged list of first two and the third one so we'll get a final list which will hold all the values so let's say there are k lists when we start with so in the first iteration we'll have k by two pairs in the second iteration we'll have k by four pairs in the third iteration we'll have k by eight and so on so here again the time complexity will be of the order log of k base two and to n times so let's see how do we do it so let's write the base condition first if list dot length is equal to equal to zero then we can simply return a null now we'll have to take steps of size 2 initially and then of size 4 and 8 and so on so we can define a variable called steps steps is equal to 1 initially now while steps is less than lists dot length for each step now we'll loop over the entire list and keep on merging list in pairs of two so we can write int i is equal to zero i plus steps should be less than lists dot length and i is equal to i plus steps into two the next time when we loop over we will have to traverse k by 4 k by 8 and so on so now lists i will be equal to the merged result of the two lists and we can write lists i comma lists i plus steps once this is done we can just simply update our steps and finally return lists at zero since this will contain the merge result of all the linked lists so now we just need to copy paste our function which we had written in the previous question let's do a dry run so first i is zero so then we merge list at position zero and list at position one next i becomes zero plus two so now it breaks this condition since i plus steps now becomes 3 which is not less than list.length which is also 3 so 3 is not less than 3 hence we terminate the for loop we update the value of steps so steps now becomes 2 2 is still less than list.length so again i is 0 at the 0th position we'll try to merge lists at position 0 and list at position 0 plus 2 which is the third one so finally we get the merge result of all of these three at the 0th position 
and again we had updated our i is equal to i plus steps into 2 so this goes way beyond our list dot length we terminate the for loop we again update steps step source 2 we update it to 4 now and check if 4 is less than 3 and we break the while loop and simply return the list at position 0 which is our merge result let's try to run it let's submit it great so it works hope you guys like the video please share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and keep watching my other videos thank you